Om Tat Sat. That being knowing bliss. The only real existence which alone is everything else exists in as much as it reflects that real existence. It is the only knower, the only self-luminous, the light of consciousness. Everything else shines by light borrowed from it. Everything else knows in as much as it reflects its own knowing. It is only blessedness as in it there is no want. It comprehends all, is the essence of all. It is Sat Chit Ananda. It has no parts, no attributes, neither pleasure nor pain, nor is it matter nor mind. It is the supreme, infinite, impersonal self in everything, the infinite ego of the universe. It is the reality in me, in thee, and in everything. Therefore, that thou art. Tat Vamasi. The same impersonal is conceived by the mind as the creator, the ruler, and the dissolvers of this universe. Its material as well as its efficient cause, the supreme ruler, the living, the loving, the beautiful in the highest sense. The absolute being is manifested in its highest, in Ishwara, or the supreme ruler as the highest and the omnipotent life of or our energy. The absolute knowledge is manifesting itself in its highest as infinite love in the Supreme Lord. The absolute bliss is manifested as infinite beautiful in the Supreme Lord. He is the greatest attraction of the soul. Satyam Shivam Sundaram The absolute or Brahman the Satchitanand is impersonal and real infinite. Every existence from the highest to the lowest all manifest according to their degree as energy in the higher life, attraction in the higher love and struggle for equilibrium in the higher happiness. This highest energy love beauty is a person an individual, the infinite mother of this universe, the God of Gods, the Lord of Lords, omnipresent yet separate from the universe, the soul of soul yet separate from every soul, the mother of this universe, because she has produced it, it is ruler, because she guides it with the greatest love and in the long run brings everything back to herself. Through her command, the sun and the moon shine, the clouds rain and the death stalks upon the earth. She is the power of all causation. She energizes every cause unmistakably to produce the effect. Her will is the only law and she cannot make a mistake. Nature's law her will can never be changed. She is the life of the law of karma or causation. She is the fructifier of every action. Under her guidance, we are manufacturing our lives through our deeds or karma. Freedom is the motive of the universe. Freedom is its goal. The laws of nature are the methods through which we are struggling to reach that freedom. Under the guidance of Mother, 
this universal struggle for freedom attains its highest expression in man in the conscious desire to be free. This freedom is attained by the threefold means of work, worship and knowledge. Work, constant, unceasing effort to help others and love others. Worship, consistent prayer, praise and meditation. Knowledge that follows meditation. Oh